You have to be grateful that you even have a job, now that everything is automated. Most of the jobs have disappeared, and the entire municipality is depopulated without acceptable social service. There is a small colony with cheap labour that the company flies in, mostly cleaning staff, but we rarely meet them. They are not part of the trade union and usually stick to themselves. I am ashamed that the company does not take greater responsibility for the community. After all, we are the ones who have built the company's wealth. There are some qualified jobs located in a control centre above ground, but most of these jobs have moved to town and are carried out remotely via the net. Some work is even done from India. They say it's cheaper that way. It's not just an A and B team anymore. We now also have a C team. What remains for us is mostly maintenance work, but it is no longer qualified work. Most of it is wearing augmented reality glasses and carrying out tasks according to the instructions that we get from central maintenance or a machine supplier far away. Sometimes we have to chop on a pixel skeleton if there is heavy lifting. There used to be a few women in our group, but they didn't stick around for long. They said the exoskeletons would make it easier for them, but they could hardly reach the controls. Then again, we insisted that they be bulky, so that they would look like real mind robots. Now there's also these collaborative robots that are supposed to help us with heavy tasks. But they and every other system requires so many cameras and sensors, so the company sees everything we do. You easily get the feeling that Big Brother sees you. As soon as you get a new idea about how something can be done in a better way, it should be added directly to the production computer, so that it can be standardised. And it's not worth trying to keep an idea for yourself. The system at once notices if you deviate from the expected. But everything is not bad. The work is not as dangerous as before, because we do not work at the front nowadays. And there are no diesel vehicles anymore. Underground, everything is automated. But of course, we must install the electricity and access points. And then you notice that the company has reduced the ventilation. The blasting gas has still remained far into the shift and you can feel your head getting heavier as the day drags on. What I miss most is my workmates. We have our mobile phones and tablets so that we can keep in touch with each other, but it is not the same as when working with the boys.